Hey, good morning, y'all. It's Chelsea. Just wanted to kind of show you around our farm this morning. Um, I believe this is going to be um, the first of many videos. Let's we'll see. Um, there's always something going on here at the Sims farm, so I thought, why not show you around a little bit? And uh, you know, I have a lot of people that always say, "How do you do it all?" Because I am um, definitely busy. So me and my husband and my kids and stuff. And and uh, the common question I get is, "How do you do it all?" So I'm going to show you how I do it all. So here we go. So now we got to get these cows in for the their breakfast this morning. Come on, girls, let's go. Oh, look. This one we named her, her, her name, her number's 30, so we just call her 30 because she cray cray. She don't need a real name. Um, there's Wendy. Say what's up, Wendy. Now, 30's getting ready to have a baby. Hopefully, I'd say within a week or two, honestly. She's, she's looking like she's about ready to go. But there's Miss Dolly, the woman of the hour. Everybody loves Dolly. Come here, sweet baby. Come on. This is like my oversized pet dog. Come here, D. Come on. Now she's gonna, she's camera shy. So. But anyway, there's our sweet baby. And there's Sam and Annie peeking around the corner. So let's get them fed. Can't forget the barn cats who have no name because we don't even know if they're male or female. They they really don't like us. And just out of precaution, always make sure that their water's not frozen, which honestly, it's been so warm. See, perfect. So anyway, that's the barn. That's the cats and the cows. And now we get to go see our other friends. And then everybody, everybody knows my sweet happy girl. You're so lovely. Oh, rub me, rub me, rub me, she says. Rub me, rub me. <laughs> She's the best dog in the entire world, for real. I've never met a dog better than that girl right there. Come on. Come on. That's my first boy right there, yeah. Yeah. As many as you all uh, probably remember, um, we used to have 17 uh, egg layer chickens. And then when we moved here to the new farm, we didn't have the coop set up, so, sorry the lighting sucks. Um, but anyway, make a long story short, we sold those chickens, and now we're at a place that we're ready to try meat chickens for the first time. So, we went to the store the other day and bought 50 meat birds. Uh, I asked the lady, I was like, what breed are they? And she said, uh, white. So, <laughs> I'm assuming they're Jumbo Cornish. Um, and then we got four um, guineas, um, which off, they look like a little baby quail, to be honest. Um, they're super cute. And we lost one of those, so now we're down to three guinea. And then we also got four egg layers. Um, and they were just like a mixed breed. Um, and honestly, I couldn't tell you what breed they were. She told me and I was like, okay, don't remember. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We just want their eggs. So here's our setup for our baby chicks.
come back after a while um, whenever I make up a new jug of just like electrolyte water. It's kind of like Gatorade for chicks. So um, they got enough to do them for a little bit. So I'm going to go in the house and make us some um, so I can come fill that back up because they'll go through a lot of that water. Plus their bedding needs changed. So I'm going to do that today. Also, when we have a lot of leftover food or when my mom is so gracious to give us three things of strawberries, um, we also have a freeze dryer. So um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that maybe in another video, but make a long story short, yes, it makes space food, um, which is what a lot of my friends have called it. Um, but anyway, we're just taking these strawberries today, cutting them up in little pieces, and then I'm filling them into, I got four of these pans. Um, and I'll set them to freeze dry for about the next 24-ish hours. So it's another thing on my plate we're doing today. This is our compost. Um, any type of like scraps or leftovers that we can't use or that the dog can't eat. Uh, we tend to throw everything in here, let it turn back into a really rich and nutritious soil that we can in turn put on our garden, on our fruit, on our trees. Um, the, there's a moisture liquid that collects down here that Dustin calls liquid gold. And we can gather that water and water our trees and, and the garden stuff with a, with that. Um, so we got to put in some scraps from the strawberries and then some scraps from, left over from yesterday's meal, okay? typical morning at our farm so we it's really actually pretty quick um, once, once we kind of have like a routine going so now that we've added the chickens to the mix you know it's we had to develop a new routine so um, it's not that bad everyone's like I don't know how you do it all but we just do because we love it so take care guys see ya <laughs>